Welcome to this video on molecular shape. All the different molecules that we learn about all end up having different shapes. And this video is on figuring out what shape each molecule will have. To do that, we start by looking at the Lewis diagram from the last video. So if we draw the Lewis diagram for each of these molecules, we can see that they automatically have a slightly different shape. But there's a little bit more to it. We need to know two rules. The first is that electrons always exist in pairs. So we've drawn them in pairs in the Lewis diagrams, but that's how they exist in real life as well. And secondly, electrons repel each other. Electrons are negatively charged, and negative and negative charges always want to get as far away from each other as possible. So in this case of H2CO, we can see that there's one, two, three different sets of electrons. Double bonds all go together. And if we imagine a big 360 degree circle, the furthest away these electrons could each get is 120 degrees away from each other. That's the furthest apart they could possibly be when they're repelling. And so this is the distance apart they are in real life as well. Whereas if we look at CH4 for example, actually the electron pairs can get further apart from each other by being in a three dimensional structure. So you can imagine that some of the hydrogens might go backwards into the page as denoted by this dashed line. Some might be coming out into the page and some might be being flat. So you can imagine this 3D structure like this one here. And that is the furthest apart that they can get from each other. And each of these angles happens to be 109.5 degrees away. This is the furthest apart any electron can get from any other pair. So this is when we have four bonds. But if we look back at chlorine here, you'll notice that there's four different electron pairs, even though there's just one bond. And so each of these electron pairs are going to want to be as far away from the others as they can. So they will also be 109.5 degrees away because there's four sets of them, the same as CH4. And there's only two molecules joined by one bond. So this makes a linear straight shape, whereas H2CO creates a trigonal planar shape. Planar just means it's on a plane, it's flat, and trigonal just means triangle. There's also the name tetrahedral, which refers to four bonds. And when we look at something like water, this is the Lewis diagram. And again, there's 109.5 degrees between each of these electron pairs. And therefore, there's going to be a bent shape. So that's what it's called. On the next slide, we're going to cover all of the possible names that these molecular shapes could take. Most of them are written here, but we'll cover them in more detail on the next slide. But the key things are electrons exist in pairs and they repel each other. And that's what creates these different shapes. So here's what you're going to need to know. Now, because you already understand the concept of how molecules form different shapes, I'm just going to go through the examples one by one in the what you need to know slide so that you can cover the information you'll need to memorize for your exams. So on the top here, we've got the number of bonds that are formed. And on the left hand side, we've got the number of electron pairs that exist. So for example, if we have bromine, we have four electron pairs around each bromine but we only have one bond joining them together. And this makes a straight shape between Br and Br. This is called a linear shape. And the angle between each of the electron pairs are 109.5 degrees. So you need to remember linear shape. If you're asked to draw a diagram, you'll just draw Br with one line and Br. Next, if we still have one bond, but because of a double bond, there's only three different electron pairs. This gives us 120 degrees between each of the electron pairs. And when you draw it, it's also linear, just two atoms joined by a double bond. This is how you draw a diagram. And finally, although this is less common, you might get something which just has two different electron pairs because there's a triple bond, which means 180 degrees between electron pairs. And you can just draw it as an atom and another atom with a triple bond. This is also a linear shape. So if you have one bond, it's always going to be a linear shape, a straight line, but the angle between bonds will change. Next, if we have two bonds in place, this is a little bit more variable. We saw water before. There's 109.5 degrees between each of the electron pairs, which means no matter where these hydrogens bond on, it's going to create a bent shape. So if you draw a diagram, you're going to have to draw the oxygen with two hydrogens on an angle, so not straight out from each other. And this is called bent. If we look at nitroxyl, which has three different pairs of electrons because of a double bond, but only two actual bonds with atoms. This is also a bent shape because these electron pairs are going to be 120 degrees apart from each other. 
So no matter where the H or the O bond onto, it's going to be 120 degrees apart. It's going to be a bent shape. And finally, we might have two sets of double bonds, like in carbon dioxide. They're 180 degrees apart, so they're also linear. And again, you need to draw the diagram linear as well. Now we're on to three sets of bonds. Three sets of bonds with four electron pairs. In this case, we know there's the 109.5 degrees between each electron pair, but one of them is missing, so it's not quite that tetrahedral shape we saw on the last diagram. We just have 109.5 degrees, so this is called trigonal pyramidal. It just means like a triangle pyramid. We have to draw that though in 3D when we're doing a diagram. A straight line means this H is straight out on the page. This block line, like a little triangle here coming out, means that this H is protruding out of the page. And a dashed line means this H is going into the page. So that's how you'll need to draw any 3D shapes, any ones which aren't on a line, which is all the ones we've covered beforehand. Next, we might only have three sets of electron pairs, and they're all bonded together. And in this case, it makes trigonal planar. They're all 120 degrees apart, it's all a flat plane, so you don't need to draw any 3D bonds here when you're doing a diagram. You just need to know the name, trigonal planar. Now we can't have three bonds with only two different electron pairs, so we skip that one and go on to the final one here. Here, for example, if we look at methane, like on the previous page, we'll remember that there's 109.5 degrees between all of the electron pairs, so that makes a tetrahedral shape. It's like a triangle pyramid, but with an extra stem at the top, called tetrahedral. And again, we need to draw one of them as coming out of the page, and one of the bonds as going into the page. So we've covered a lot of names. Linear, bent, trigonal pyramidal, a triangle pyramid, trigonal planar, a flat triangle, and tetrahedral, a triangle pyramid with a stem on top. These are the different shapes you'll need to know. And if you want to get excellence or higher marks, it's good to remember that four electron pairs means they'll be 109.5 degrees apart, three electron pairs means 120 degrees apart, and two bonds means they're straight, so 180 degrees apart. Let's look at how this is used in a question now. Here, we'll need to complete this table. We'll need to draw the Lewis structure, for each molecule, we need to draw a diagram for each molecule, and we'll need to name the shape of the molecule. So let's start by looking at pH 3. If we draw the Lewis diagram, we have P, which has five outer, and H, which each has one outer electron, joined together in this molecule. You'll see there are four electron pairs, which means it's going to be a 3D shape, but only three of them are bonded. So if we draw that, remember they're 109.5 degrees apart, it needs to be 3D, so we have to draw one hydrogen coming out of the page and one hydrogen going into the page. And this name is trigonal pyramidal, meaning triangle pyramid. If we look at CO2, we have carbon sharing two sets of electrons with each oxygen. Now there's only two bonds here, which means it must be straight, and we have to draw the double bonds, no 3D required. And this is a linear shape, just means straight line. H2CO3, if we draw that, we've got carbon, a central carbon, with three different bonding pairs coming off it. Because it has three pairs, we don't need any 3D. If there were four pairs of electrons, we would, like in the top one. So here we just need to draw the double bonded oxygen and the two single bonded hydrogens approximately 120 degrees apart from each other. And this is called a trigonal planar, which just means a triangle on a plane, a flat plane. And this is your answer. I hope you can see how using electron pairs that repel each other gets us from Lewis diagrams to shapes, and we need to remember the names of all of those shapes and the angles between them.